Hey, my friends, this is Xavier with the Thrive Business Institute and the Legendary Leadership Academy. It is Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's Business Building Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I come live at 7 p.m. Today, we're a little behind, but uh, to give you guys some, some assistance, right, with your business, with your entrepreneurial endeavor, I'm here to help. And so the basics of how this session goes, you put whatever business question you have right in the chat below and I give you live business coaching, live consulting right here and uh, help you get unstuck, right? Help your business thrive, help you thrive. So uh, while that is getting ready to, you know, while you guys are sort of getting those questions ready uh, to put in the chat, I want to tell you guys that I missed you. It has been um, been a few weeks. I think I uh, missed last Tuesday. I uh, had an emergency with one of my businesses and uh, had to run out and um, and put out that fire. So I didn't get a chance to serve you guys last Tuesday. And then uh, last week, my, um, my I have a, a few kids, but my, my son that's uh, in 11th grade, he is an ROTC, and we had to go to D.C. for a national competition in a sport called orienteering. It's like land navigation. And uh, Henry County Warhawks are uh, now six-time national champions and uh, so we were in D.C. Uh, last week and over the weekend, got back yesterday, 10-hour drive, long drive. But I'm here for you guys tonight, and uh, we want to talk business. We want to talk everything business and sort of what you guys have going on and what is happening in your business right now. Where are you stuck? What areas of your business do you want to grow in? And this is the important stuff, right? So we talked a few weeks ago about being at the end of the first quarter, right? If you divide your business into um, quarters, right? Every three months, you can look at your sales and look at your marketing and you can make adjustments uh, mid-year, right? You can make adjustments and, and so that you can better use your marketing dollars, better use whatever dollars you have to grow your business or better serve your customers. And so the, doing those quarterly checkups on your business allows you to uh, look at, you know, your business at, almost as a patient, right? So when we look at those quarterly earnings, we get an opportunity to see where our business is truly sitting. So anyway, we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Um, and with that, you need to be looking at your marketing. You need to be looking at um, your sales, right? You need to be looking at uh, anything that you can measure within your business. So you can't manage it if you can't measure it, right? And so you need to be able to measure, you know, is it leads coming in? Is it sales? Is it um, conversions? Like whatever it is that, that's going to make your business successful, you need to find a way to measure that. And once you find a way to measure it, then you can begin to manage it. So I'm here for you guys tonight. Again, if you do have any questions, you just put it right in the chat below and we will start um, with whatever questions you guys have. It's uh, like I said, I missed you guys, missed talking to you the past couple of weeks, but I am here with you tonight and uh, here to serve you. So just let me know what I can do to help you and your business grow, thrive and go to the next level. So excited to be with you guys tonight. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you got going on. I am here for you. And check this, guys. If you know of anyone that has a business that, um, you know, needs some assistance. Hold on. Got a little feedback. Let me turn that off. Um, if you know anybody that has a business that needs some help, uh, share this video. Tell them, you know, tell them, hey, this guy can help. So if you guys do have any questions about your business, what are you struggling with, right? You guys know that I don't like to come on and just teach for an hour, right? I like to come on and I like to answer real questions about your business, the real things that you are struggling and dealing with now. I don't want to just assume what you should be looking at. Tell me where you're stuck, right? When you go to the doctor, you tell them what the symptoms are, right? And the doctor from the symptoms tells you, hopefully, what's wrong with you, right? And gives you a prescription for that issue that you're struggling with. So if you will simply tell me, what are the symptoms, right? Are your customers not uh, calling you back? Are you not, do you not have good conversions? Guys, I can look at your website. 
I can look at your website. I can look at your Facebook page. Whatever you need assistance with tonight. Is it finances, pricing of your products or services? Let's talk about that. We're moving. We're into spring now. So if you want to talk about marketing, we can talk about your marketing. We can easily do that. But as we talk about your marketing, hopefully it's changed, right? From your, you know, winter, Christmassy, New Year marketing strategy into a spring strategy, right? And so what do you have going on there? So guys, the way this goes, put any question that you have right there in the chat. I'm here for you. I'll answer these questions for you, help you get your business to another level. So I'm excited to talk with you guys tonight. This is Business Building Tuesday. My name is Xavier Johnson, and I'm your business coach, right? And this is one of the ways that I give back. I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years. And one of the ways that I serve the entrepreneurial community and cut through a lot of the BS that's out there um, is I do this, right? I go live and I prove to you that I do what I say I do. So this is what I do for a living, and I want to help you. I want to give you the same tools and the same strategies that I give uh, clients that 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 pay a, a good amount of money to uh, to hear me talk. So, guys, tell me what your business is struggling with tonight. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Tuesday here in Georgia. So, tell me how can I assist you? What can I do for you, guys? I can't help you if you don't put the question in the chat. Can't help you if you don't put the question in the chat. I'm just gonna put this here and say place uh, question here. I'm going to put that right there, and I am going to pin that question to the top. So, guys, be sure, whatever questions you have about your business, I'm not selling you anything. I'm not signing you up for a program. Um, I can help you with whatever business you're in. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, if you're in network marketing, shoot, put the question up. If you are in, I don't know, lawn care credit repair. Um, I don't care what the business is. You just tell me exactly what it is that you need. What do you need assistance with? What are you struggling in? And, uh, and I can help you. So just put that question right there in the chat below and I'll be glad to serve you tonight. How can I assist you tonight? How can I assist you with your business? What do you have going on? What do you have, uh, that's pressing, right? What's What are you struggling? Where are you struggling in your business? Let's talk about that tonight. Let's talk about where you're struggling and what you need to do to get to a better place in your business. I'm here for you. I'm Xavier with the Thrive Business Institute and the legendary Leadership Academy. I'm here for you. Tell me how I can do to assist you in your business. How can I help you go to a better place in your business. I am here for you guys and I love to serve you. Love to help you guys out. So tell me where you're struggling in business. How can I help you tonight? What can I do to help your business grow? Where are you stuck? What questions do you need answered? Uh, there is so much misinformation out there, guys. I'm telling you, um, I spent a good bit of time answering questions in groups and, and, and it's there's a lot of information that's just not accurate. It's just not, especially in marketing and advertising. It's just not accurate. So um, marketing platforms, um, let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper. When you say marketing platforms, um, Ms. Wesley, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What marketing platforms are you using or... Um, Give me, give me a little more information as to what, what you're asking. Uh, are you trying to market a new business or you want to know what do you use to market? Because I can tell you sort of what, you know, the, the stuff that I use. I don't use a whole lot, but I can tell you what I use to, uh, you know, to manage, you know, social media platforms, things like that. Um, but if you could just give me a little bit more information about what, when you say marketing platforms, Kind of help me out with that. Um, because guys, I mean, and you guys know that there are systems in marketing, right? Uh, various ways. Okay, perfect, perfect. So tell me what industry, tell me what industry you're in. Miss Wesley, what industry are you in? 
And so, um, because, I mean, we already know that there are literally thousands of ways to, to market, but some marketing um, strategies are more beneficial for some industries, right? So let me give you something specific in relation to what it is that you do. So tell me exactly what you do. And I, I remember you actually, we took a anger management training class together years ago, years ago. So I, uh, I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you. I remember your name and your face. So it, um, I, remember, I remember us taking that, taking that class together. So tell me what, what industry are you, um, are you in and uh, what business? And let me give you some marketing strategies so specific to the industry. Um, okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Okay. So with life coaching, um, life coaching is one of those industries where um, it is, it's, it's difficult, right? It's difficult. It's almost like, you know, when people tell us about our kids, right? How to raise our kids. Like we don't want anybody to tell us how to, you know, how to raise our own kids. So life coaching is, is, is sort of that. So one of the easier ways to get into life coaching is to define the service. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it life coaching, right? I would call it something else. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it life coach. Um, because again, you have, what you do is you wrestle against the negative connotation that some individuals have put out with the life coaching piece. And so when you think of coaching, you, you don't think of someone telling me what to do. You're telling me someone that will give me the strategies that will create a better situation for me. And so you think about the end result. Think about if you didn't know anything about life coaching, right? If you didn't know anything about that, why would you call a life coach? What problem are you going to fix in a person's life, right? And so when you think about that, that, that creates a, a mindset. And I hope I'm not just babbling. But what I'm trying to get you to do is to break it down to the least common denominator. Because oftentimes as entrepreneurs, what we do is we market like we're marketing to the educated us. Right? And so when we put out marketing material, we'll tell someone, you need to call a life coach because... You know, you need a life coach or, or, or whatever it is. And we'll talk about the things that a life coach can help you with. But that doesn't really speak to my problem. It's too generic. Right. And so what are you going to help me fix in my life? Like, what is that? Right. Is there any negative connotation that goes along with life coaching? What uh, you need to be able to speak to that. And so when you're doing your your your. Um, when you're doing your sessions, right? Um, one of the ways that I would market, if I was a life coach, is I would do this. I would do exactly what I'm doing right now. I would go live maybe once a week. Um, or you can, I know some folks go live, you know, once a day. Um, hey, Miss T. Hey, Miss T. Um, so what you do is um, spend some time. Right. It could be um, what's the name of your life coaching business? Yeah. Give me that because I'm gonna, like, I'll go I'll go deeper and, and, and kind of create the marketing scenario for you. I'll show you exactly how to market that. But I think one of the ways that you're going to be able to destroy a lot of the negative connotation that goes along with life coaching. And when I say negative connotation, it's not only those individuals who have not done the profession justice. But it's destroying what people think life coaching is, right? Uh, anytime you have a market where it has been flooded with individuals that's ready to give advice, right? Um, you're going to get some mess, right? So you want to be the filter. You want to be the filter for life coaching. You want people to see that what you, that's, it's not, you want to prove your, prove your worth, right? Prove that you know what it is that you're talking about. And so what you do is you spend some time. It could be once a day. If you have 10 minutes a day, um, you know, you could do, uh, I don't know, seven minutes. 
eight minutes, right? Eight minutes, new beginnings, eight minutes. Um, um, and you can go live for eight minutes, literally every single day and get individuals to tune in just like we're doing this. The whole reason people believe I know something about business, students that buy my courses, is because I do this stuff, right? So I prove that I know what I'm doing. Inspire to empower me, okay? Is that your training team, uh, secondary to your main business, a licensed counselor, okay? Team of 20 people are ready to go out, train, and teach others in whatever area of need. Gotcha. So what I would do is I would get more specific, right? Nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes specific. I'll say it again. Nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes specific. If you have a team of 20, what industry needs you the most, right? Where can you guys focus your power like a laser, right? So if you think of a light, just a general light, and it'll light up a room. But if you put a, 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 a magnifying glass in front of the light, you now can create right focused energy that can cut through steel, right? So what area can those 20 people walk into as a team and do some phenomenal work? Now, some of the things that you can do, since you're already a licensed counselor, you could partner with companies or you could create a program with companies. They simply pay a monthly um, they pay a monthly retainer and they get access to these life coaches, right? You need to be able to find a company and do a 30, 60, 90 day trial with a company, um, providing your services, right? Once a week session, like, I don't know, you know, how often you should get life coaching sessions, but I would get some uh, proof of concept is what I call it. You want to develop some develop some um, some raving fans, right? And so you got to get people talking. So you do your eight minutes, and since you have a team of twenty, you can rotate the everyday eight minute session. So inspire to empower me. Inspire to empower me. Um, this is your insp uh, inspire inspire ten. Inspire 10, inspire, empower. This is your empowerment 10. This is your, um, trying to think of a name for the segment. Uh, I would do inspire, 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 empower, inspire, inspire me, inspire, inspire me. This is your inspire me moment. Inspire me moment. This is your inspire me moment. It's 10 minutes. Give a quick thought for the day, right? You can either do it early morning, seven, eight o'clock in the morning and be there for people when they start their day or you go around noon, right? Because any hell that someone has caught, they've caught in the morning time, right? So, but you can catch them first part of the day with the inspire me moment, right? And you or one of your team members can look straight into camera, a cell phone, it doesn't necessarily matter, with a quick tip for the day, 10 minutes, and they can answer any questions during that time. You guys can go live in the evenings like this. You can have an email address where people will submit questions. Now you notice that all of this, of course, is the free stuff. It seems free. But what you're doing and what's so powerful about life coaching is because you don't need to be in the room with the person. You can literally do it over Skype. You can do it over the phone. Um, but people need to experience it. And that's what's missing from other areas, right? Is people experiencing what a life coaching session would look like. Um, so that's the inspired me moment. So I would do that. Then I would do a um, 30, 60, or 90 day study with a group of individuals or a company and, you know, whatever your baseline is, right? You're a counselor, so you know about baselines, right? You, you know your thing. 
And so you, you know, determine your baseline of what is actually going to be studied with these individuals. And then 30 days later, 60 days, 90 days later, you put yourself, you know, in position to kind of see what has changed. And those individuals with some great results, those individuals are the individuals that will look into camera and say, this is legit, right? So you need that social proof uh, of people. Uh, with life coaching, you don't have a lot of that, right? Of just everyday people. And so that's what you need. And as you begin to develop that, then you can begin to establish your brand and create the need um, with that. With life coaching, the same as counseling, as you know, as a counselor, um, those people that are in uh, transition or in turmoil are the people that normally seek counseling on their own or it's court ordered or something like that. So, um, but seeking a counselor, you know, the same thing with life coaching is something that people should just be doing anyway, right? To, to assist in uh, accomplishing some goals. So I hope that that made sense. I hope that made sense. So let me know. It um, much, you know, praying for much success for you guys. Congratulations on building a team of 20 folks. You guys can actually go into any arena that you want and really make some, um, make some really solid um, influential moves, right? Just because you already have a team of individuals that are trained, same philosophy, same frame of uh, thinking. And I think that you can walk into, you know, some situations that are, um, high stress, you know, nine one operators, police officers, uh, the medical field, medical professionals, hospice workers, right? Um, these individuals are on an emotional roller coaster constantly, right? Um, correctional officers, because they're inside of jail, they're inside of a, you know, of a, of a, of a prison of some sort. Um, and these are high stress positions where, they're seeing people incarcerated, they're seeing dreams destroyed, and it can cause a shift in our humanity scale, right? And so you can begin to work through that to help people find that harmonious state in life and still move forward in accomplishing the goals that they want to accomplish. So uh, best of luck to you, best of luck to you. I think that, that those were, that's a great question. It's a great question. Um, great, great question. And I'm glad that I could, glad I could pour something out, pour something out, and uh, hope all is well with you and the family. Guys, this is Xavier with the Thrive Business Institute and the Legendary Leadership Academy. Let me know how I can help you. Guys, I'm going to put on a video really quick. I'll be right, well, just hold on one second. I need to plug up my computer because I didn't know. <laughs> one second. I'm still here, guys. I am still here. I just want to plug it up before it shuts down on me. One moment. One moment, guys. I am here. Don't go anywhere. I'm here. All right. I am back. Back, back, back. Okay. All right. I'm back. Here we go. So let me know how I can help you guys tonight. What are you struggling with with your business? Where are you struggling? Where are you struggling? Let me know what I can do for you. Um, let me know what I can do for you. Let me know how I can assist you in your business. I know marketing is a big deal, guys. I know it is. 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 It is tough to do. It is tough to... Uh, to make it happen, but hey, but guys, whatever questions you have, put your questions right there in the chat. Put your questions in the chat. Let me help you. Let's talk about your business tonight, right? Whatever it is that you want to do with your business. Guys, let me tell you, you know, being, a, being a, an entrepreneur is not about you leaving your job. It's really not. It's, it's really not. Um, some people believe that. It has been said that I'm not saying you're going to go out and be this, you know, this big, huge corporation. I'm not saying you're going to build that kind of business. I do want to let you know that every business that opened started small, right? And, and they grew, right? They made some good strategic decisions and they grew. Now, with that being said, 
if you opened a small entrepreneurial endeavor, a small business, and all that business did was made an extra, just an extra $500 a month, an extra $1,000 a month. It doesn't seem like a lot of money, right? An extra $250 a week that comes into your home. Well, an extra $1,000 a month over 10 years is $120,000. So can you imagine your full-time job, you're paying your mortgage, and you're putting an extra $1,000 a month on your mortgage, right? That's my point. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to go out and make $100,000 a day in your business. You get what I'm saying? Like you can start a small business and if it lightens the load, I believe that. I believe that everyone has a skill set within them that they can monetize. Everybody, right? So don't get distracted. Don't, don't believe the hype, right, with a lot of the foolishness. Uh, don't believe the snazzy suits and the slick haircuts and, and this is what you need to do if you're going to be wealthy. And Like, I don't, I don't preach that. I don't preach that. That's not entrepreneurship to me. Um, no, I'm not hating on those folks. What I'm saying is if you're constantly chasing a lifestyle, you're missing the point of living the dream. If you're constantly chasing the nice clothes and the nice house and the nice car, you're truly missing the dream. The dream of entrepreneurship. You know, at the end of your life, guys, you want to ask yourself, did you fulfill your purpose, right? Like why you're here. And if that means spending more time with your kids, that was mine. I wanted to be a better dad. That's why I became an entrepreneur. I knew that I had these dreams and aspirations of greatness. I mean, I knew that, I had that. But what really made me jump the broom was I wanted to be there for karate practice, for soccer practice, for wrestling tournaments. Like I wanted to be a dad, right? I wanted to be there. I don't want to be a slave to the man, right? I don't want to be that person that, you know, I can't come to the game because I'm working. I don't want my kids to say when I'm 65, 70 years old, is that, Dad, you gave us a great life. We had everything we ever wanted, but what we really wanted was more of your time. We really wanted you there. And that's what encouraged me. That's what gave me the strength to jump the broom and become an entrepreneur. And now I've been a full-time entrepreneur, I don't know, eight years, seven years, um, and so, anyway, with all that being said, I, you know, I, I stepped down off of my horse, and um, just to encourage you guys, just to encourage you, and tell you that you can do this, right? I want to set realistic expectations, and um, so with that being said, guys, if you do have any questions about your business, about your endeavor, how to market it, how to advertise it, what you should be doing, if you have a website that you want me to look at, let me know, and I'll take, I'll pull it up. We'll look at your website and give you some feedback. Is there, um, what about the finances of your business? Is your business being profitable or is it just making money? There, there's, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. There's a lot of companies that make money, but they simply are not profitable. And you can't grow a business like that. Maybe you don't have systems in place. Maybe you don't have the systems to grow your business to what it needs to be. I remember sitting down with a restaurant uh, last year, and they called me in because they wanted to, uh, they wanted some consulting about uh, expanding or friends or opening a second location. They wanted a franchise. They wanted to open a second location. The restaurant was doing extremely well, and so I began to ask basic questions. I began to ask questions like, "Do you have um, what's your best-selling item?" And they told me. And I said, "Okay, do you have that recipe?" written down that, nope, I don't have the recipe written down. And I told them immediately we can stop because your business is not ready to expand if you don't have your systems in place, right? Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Xavier with the Thrive Business Institute. This is Business Building Tuesday. If you have any business questions, put them right down below in the chat and let me help you. We had one question earlier about marketing. Marketing is a life coaching uh, business. And she has a team of individuals. And so I gave her some specific marketing tips specific to life coaching, right? And what she needs to be doing there. So if you guys have any questions, 
Same thing with you, whether it's marketing, advertising, um, finances, maybe you know you want to form the business. I, I don't know. Just whatever quiz, whatever questions you have, put it right down below. Um, I'm here for you. So let me know. What can I do? What can I do to help you guys tonight? I'm just now seeing, I'm sorry. I'm just now seeing my uh, ring light. I didn't see my ring light in the. So how can I help you guys tonight? I'm here for you. Put your questions right in the chat below and let me help. Put your questions right in the chat below. Let me help you. What do you need assistance with? Let me tell you, ignorance is not bliss. So if you want to uh, get some assistance tonight, put your questions right there in the chat. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, it's always great. You know, like I said, I haven't seen you guys in a little over, well, it's almost two weeks now. So, um, but I'm here for you, you know. Um, I'm not selling you anything. I'm literally just trying to sow into you, give you the wisdom and, and some knowledge that I've acquired over the years, over 20 years as an entrepreneur, several entrepreneurial endeavors, some have been massively successful, some have not, you know, and that's entrepreneurship. So I want to talk, so, you know, am I an expert? I would say that I have made enough mistakes in business. Um, I don't believe what qualifies me to, to speak about business, entrepreneurship, marketing, advertising, uh, finances, business development, business growth. The things that qualify me to speak there is, is not my education. I have an executive MBA. I was a college president. None of that qualifies me to speak. What qualifies me to speak about business is because I have screwed up over the years. I've had so many failures in business, guys. Um, and that's, you know, that's just a part of the game. Uh, there weren't many people there that spoke the language that I needed them to speak to uh, help with some of these potholes. So now with the technology that we have, I can come in and serve you guys just like this every single day um, in helping your businesses grow. So whatever questions you guys have, put it right there in the chat below. Let me prove to you that, um, that you can do this, right? Let me help you with this marketing thing. And let me tell you, if, if, and this is gonna piss some people off and I'm okay with that, right? I mean, just hit me up, we can chat. Um, a website is not gonna grow your business. Customers don't care about your logo. They don't. They definitely don't care about your commercial. Um, you know, so just saying, it's, it's tough, but it's it's real, it's real. Uh, SKU numbers, that is a great, great, great question. Um, so when you say SKU numbers, you want to um, you want to create a numbering system so that individuals can order and just tell you the the product number. Is that what you is that what you mean, uh, Miss T? Because there are. Um, Because there's a, I mean, there's a few ways to do it. There's definitely a few ways to do it. I'm going to give you a good um, website, and um, I'm going to give you a good link. I think this is a great link, uh, a great resource. Okay, for you to keep inventory. All right, here's a great link for you, T. Uh, I think that. Um, and this is what I would say about uh, skewed numbers for your business is keep it simple, right? Just keep it simple. Um, you know, there are small printers that you can get. There are, there are inventory systems that you can create um, with your business. I would definitely do that because, and the one of why it's so important is, um, you have um, 
you have a business that is on the verge of just taking off, right? And so the best way for you to be able to um, you know, put yourself, excuse me, put yourself in a situation is creating some good systems. And the link that I just gave you, these people offer a software. It's an inventory management application. Um, they have a free version. It gives you up to 100 items, five locations, 250 inventory records, 1,000 activities a month, and one gig of image storage this um i would try it out right i would try it out and um that company is called clear inventory clear inventory and so as you continue to grow this um you know this is something that you'll need to have in place right you'll need to have it in place this is what major manufacturers this is what they are able to offer there are companies literally um, even with the jewelry, the design business, there are companies that can put this stuff together for you. Um, you. You may not be there yet, and that's fine, but as your company grows and as the demand for your art grows, you're going to need a system, right? And so what will happen is you will, uh, or you can hire people to do it yourself. You know, you can do that too, you know, so... Uh, this may be a great job for the elderly, you know, it may be a great job for some folks, but you can, um, you can absolutely um, put yourself in a, in, a, in a good position. And you want to begin to think about that stuff now. That's the stuff you got to begin to chew on now, is how are you going to grow and expand this business once it begins to pick up. I have been paying attention to some of your photos uh, these are really good photos that you're putting up, really good um, pictures of the product. It's really nice. So uh, keep it up. Keep it up. I think that, you know, it's, it's time to put together a site or it is time to move that stuff right over to Amazon. Man. I told you before, I think I said this to you, go put that stuff on Amazon. And uh, you open it up to a billion person customer database. So put that stuff up online. Uh, you can create your own website if you want to do that. Um, you know, and the thing about creating your own site is now you have to push traffic to that. Okay, good stuff. You have to push traffic to that site. And, um, and that's where it can get difficult. That's where it can get difficult. So I, um, I have a, you know, kind of a major announcement, kind of. So I have a, um, a TV show. We're, we're getting ready to start, uh, getting ready to launch a TV show. And um, of course, my students will have, have access first to, uh, to get involved, but um, but it's going to be for individuals to um, to get started with their business. Uh, as a matter of fact, the name of the show is called Start From Scratch. Um, and we will begin. We're planning and in, in kind of pre-production now and planning and strategizing. But I am super, super excited to um, to get this going and to get uh, get some get some get some stuff going. So. If you think of a reality show, um, the reality show is literally, uh, I'll meet with individuals. I think it'll be about two people per episode. And I will meet with a person that wants to start a business, right? Or has a small business and they, you know, they're just trying to grow it, right? Or they're trying to start. And I'm going to show them um, with anywhere between three and $500 that they have to have, right? How to start the business or grow the business. And it's to challenge a lot of the bull, you know, that people put up to start businesses. I want to challenge a lot of the misinformation that I see every single day in a Facebook group. Um, I'll tell you guys a quick story. I was, uh, this has been about a month ago. 
I was in one of the Facebook groups, and I, I won't call his name, but uh, I was in one of the business Facebook groups, and a person came on and they asked how, they said, if, I, if I'm going to start a business, you know, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to start a business? And man, this thing probably had, I don't know, 150, 200 comments. And everybody's talking about research and business plan and more research and business plan and business law and business plan. And it was just on and on and on. And I came on and I told her, I said, it's three questions that I need you to answer. If you answer these three questions, you're ready to start your business. What are you selling? Who are you selling it to? And where are they? And when you can answer those three questions, you're ready to start the business. No business plan, no marketing strategy, none of that crap. It's literally that simple to start. Most businesses are never birthed into the atmosphere because people are afraid to start. Analysis paralysis, right? We go back and we analyze. That's all writing a business plan is. I've written hundreds in my life. I've reviewed uh, many and I'm telling you, if you want to discourage yourself from opening a business, write a business plan. If you want true discouragement, if you want somebody to talk you out of opening a business, write a business plan. And when you're done, you'll never want to open a business again. Yeah. You'll never want to open a business again. I'm telling you. It is work for life. The true thing is to start. That's exactly what it is. I want you guys to learn to start. To start. That's all you need to do. And once you start, life is amazing. Once you start. Anyway. If you have any more questions for me tonight, guys, let me know. I'm here for you. I love to answer. I love to answer for you. What questions do you guys have? None? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. You guys are great. I missed you guys. Of course, guys, if you're watching this broadcast, after the broadcast is ended, you can always put your questions right down chat below and I'll come back and answer what other questions you have about your business. That's what this page is about. Um, this page is about starting. This page is about you launching your business, you growing your business, and that's what I'm here for. So if you do have any questions, now just put your questions right here in the chat. I'm here for you. Tell me what you need. Tell me how I can help you. Tell me how I can help you grow your business. Because I want to help. I truly, truly do want to help you grow your business. I want to help you grow. So tell me what I can do. Tell me what I can do to help you. Because I want to help you. I want to help you. So I know you guys are great. I know you guys are awesome. And I want your businesses to grow. Guys to be okay. I want your business to be amazing so that you can continue to be amazing. Because at the end of the day, guys, listen, you can't really serve your purpose if you're not out there making money with your business. And if you just need a hobby, you know what I'm saying? If that's all you're really doing, you're in business to make a profit. You're in business to touch lives. You're in business to make a difference. Your business can't touch your kids' life. You know what I'm not making money in it. Let me help you do that. That's what I'm here for you. So let's talk about it. What can I do to assist your business tonight? What questions do you have? What questions do you have? What questions do you have? I am here for you. I'm definitely here for you. Here to serve you. Yeah, we're here to serve you. We're here to make sure that you guys are good. So tell me what it is that I can do for you. I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you guys. 
don't have any more questions. You know, more book. More book. But I do love to serve. I do love to serve. And make sure that you guys are good. Whatever questions you have, put it right down in the chat below. I'm here for you. Next few minutes. Give you guys a few minutes to ask any additional questions. If there's any more questions that have come through, Ms. T has uh, some inventory questions about her jewelry business. She makes some phenomenal, beautiful, beautiful. Mother's Day is coming up. Ooh, T, if you're still watching, that's what you need to do. Yeah, you need to, you need to do a Mother's Day challenge. Give away one free set. You need to have people subscribe. They need to submit their stories to you um, via email. Via email. And uh, get this thing started. So we need to help with that one another. And let's, let's, get you, let's get you started. Guys, if I can help you with anything tonight, let me know. This is a group the Thrive Business Institute and the Legendary Leadership Academy. It is business building Tuesday. I'm here to help. Let me let me help coach you. Let me help coach you. Business coaching. Business coaching, business consulting. This is what I do for a living guys. So if you do have a question about your business, put it in the chat below. Put it in the chat below. Let me help you. There's no need for you to be stuck. Not saying anything at the moment. Not saying any questions. And, and I am here to help. So if you don't have any more questions, guys, I will get out of your care. If you don't have any more questions for me tonight, just let me know what I can do to serve you. Until next time, have a phenomenal evening, and uh, I'll check you guys. I'll check you guys later. All right, take care.